is this is much better. This is what I needed. Um, my evenings aside, we have potentially a very weird game on our hands, and we'll. we'll I, I genuinely want your your thoughts on both compositions as we we now get to watch them um, unfold on this map specifically. Um, you know, is Brim looking as viable as expect, or not <laughs> as expected, as viable as it could be? Do you like it being played by Chronicle? Is you know, I, I do want your updated thoughts. And again, on the other side of the FPX, do we like how they've come into this? I, I think FPX's composition is the one that that probably stands out more. I, I want to see how they. Mm -hmm kind of counter both of these initiators off each other, whether or not it's going to just be a buddy system and they can probe both extremities. Again, with uh, well, lots of possibilities when you think about it. It's certainly going to be the application we judge it by, but uh, I, I think the, the, probably the Brimstone is more understandable, to, to be honest. Of these two compositions, mm -hmm. I think from what we've seen from Ascend, they've made it look very comfortable. BX, so probe towards... B initially, Redgar swing out, find two freebies here on Dardis and Zipan. Finally traded out. Who will yeah, follow up. Completely unchecked. Yeah. Um, kind of thrived in the mayhem. Everyone trying to clear long after oh. the contact off the back of the, you know, Doggo going out. And certainly, you can make an argument. This, this composition does lean towards that. We stack outside showers here just to deal with the wall, relinquish some of this control here, but it's a standard. All from Nats here to reinforce behind Shados' utility. We might have to see some, some follow-up here. Angel just drifts in to try and find something. So you get to actually find the trade. Retrieve the sheriff as well. But no real progress towards sight just yet. Nats didn't Nats apparently didn't eat yeah. as much of that flash as I yeah. thought. He'll be fine to come back around towards so he gets on shout. I'll just try to slip through, find a little bit of a timing that works for him. And Chronicle towards heaven. I wonder if he can slip through towards CT potentially. I know that there is a player watching it, but again, it is somewhat of a 1v1 Players timing stop there. There it is. Defo clears through pretty happily. <clears throat> yeah, the other, and yeah. The other thing to know Comfort. here is you yeah. just have to be popping off. It, it does. Yeah, you're, you're kind of on the money with that. I do feel like this is a big investment into the capability of Ardis and Zipan, right? Like, this does feel like a huge uh, amount of pressure on their yeah. shoulders, which I don't think necessarily is a bad thing, but... They have so much to overcome. That That's that's the concern. Yes. And Ardis, I mean, both, both of them had Ardis particularly had a fantastic map one. Oh, I love this little crunch through the contact on TP again. Going to retake that space towards Shower. So fighting for the extremities and taking back a fair amount of control. It does look like they're slowly drifting towards that B site, but let's see if Redgar goes for the confirmation flash. Considered putting it through the TP, but I think readjusted his expectations towards long after that shower control did swing back across contact made on to cord towards Chronicle. I just pop a smoke up by a little bit more time and you said it, it's that slowing effort. Molly down below as well, gonna make this a little bit more difficult. Zip, I'm gonna try and navigate past the Chronicle, all too aware of where they'd be funneled to. Gets the punish on one, but the trade comes out. The crossfire still holds until now. Angel left standing in a 3v3. This is the bonus oh. coming out, and well, that's a big chunk of damage coming in. That's so the timing on this could be pretty dangerous. Defo gonna put his body on the line, finds one for free, and actually, didn't get this started. Yes, the spam is there, but no one connecting, and actually, Defo, no he has no, no way, reason right? to stop. He keep doing this, Natsis is crossing all. This is a disaster for FPX, made to look silly by Gambit. A little bit of a slip up there for FPX, because okay. definitely they're around to lose. Well, this could be um, quite a commanding lead if Gambit carry on like this already three to the good and looking quite strong in mm. doing so. And the win conditions for FBX, I think, are on the back of Zipan and Artis making a fair amount of impact. Obviously, that does entail the likes of Sugetsu, Angel, setting all that into motion, Chow being an integral factor, don't get me wrong. But they do need to be instigators in this. They do need to create a lot of opportunity. On the other side, as you highlight time and time again, it is that just constant barrage of utility that can deny any access, any visibility, any easy approach. So, I feel struggle for FBX this game, but... This round, probably not going to be the one to get on the board. This fight for showers continues. That's ready to greet them. And actually, the flash through there. For a moment there, I thought they were going to get aggressive, but the aftershock will slow things down. 
That flash is good though. Shadoff is eating up. A lot of that. Still no progress towards Red Guy actually finds a wall bang onto Angel. Left. Nothing achieved on the back oh. of this. I need to see them either and the Seekers come down. Yeah, that's gonna draw a lot of fire out and make sure everyone knows what's up. Now, actually, yes, they do find Shados, but they're still Nat who hadn't got checked on. Zephan with a lovely shot. They're clearing as they go, and by hook or by crook, you're not meant to be doing this. Gonna force the ult to come down. Deny Lisa Spike Plan for now. Ten seconds on the board, and Defo's creeping on the site. Chronicle gonna close in as well. It's still looking deadly. It's probably not gonna go. Has he got that? Plan. Do they get it down in time? It was down to the wire. It is planted. A 1v2 for Chronicle, who was insane on that one. Not going to get the chance to pop, pop off in this one, but... Beyond this is kind of an important discussion around conditioning. And kind of that fight for the free map control, right? What's what's given for free? What Gambit lean Let's away from? Pace. Most of the attempted pace, should I say. They've taken over Hookah incredibly quickly. Artist, great work from the opening there. That's the impact you kind of need to be seeing from him. And the back of the aggression, it works well. I'm going to note the players, but so you can see the pressure going right back into his red guy. He's not going to get away with his life. And Nats now does try and slip across in all of the mayhem that was going on, but it is a 1v4 and he's been already wrapped on. Sugetsu's going to play catch and does it perfectly. Lovely vibe, rolling thunder. Japan is three away from the showstopper as well. But as well, though, good progress. And after this, we can have a couple of ultimates to play with. FO will throw a rifle in the mix here. We saw what you could do with a, a Spectre purchase early on in Fracture, but... No charges left. FX on the back of that previous round. Now, a little more cautious in approach. Huge info. Down. Chronicle just noting two players there. Towards Hooker. Going to pop down the smoke as well. But we haven't seen the full commitment just yet. Now, already TP taken, that's going to be noted. This could speed up the process, potentially, and they're going to put a lot of faith in Chronicle to try and buy either a bit of time. A little bit of a gamble stack, try and pinch out the back by shower, but they're not going to get what they need. High Flash comes in, you can see the set piece in motion flash in towards Octagon, and yeah, eventually maybe Nats gets one, that's fine, but Chronicle went down in the meantime, so site's completely under the FPX banner. This is actually a really nice site take, considering they knew they could be up against a bit of uh, a, a scrappy purchase or odds and ends. You've got to be quite clean on these. You've got to take them seriously. And FBX, at least we're seeing a little bit of that personality showing through their capability in that regard. But Defo still with a rifle has the opportunity for two, and he takes it with both hands. Zip Allen to get to punish and a quick play towards the site. They've cleared artists as well. A disaster in the making. And Chow now back to the wall, gets checked on, and they took the foot off the gas for a wow. second. And you just can't do it against Gambit. Really can't. And maybe that's a question or. or... Potentially a recurring theme here is... Full purchase from both sides. Artist going to have that op ready to go as well. Yeah, whether or not this is just because he's got the blade storm online, I don't know. This almost leans towards FPX leaning back in the opposite direction. A bit of adjustment here on the back of the Viper's Pit as well. Again, big focus on showers as we already discussed and why that is. It will give them the benefit of using Nats's wall towards short. FPX poke a little, but... I don't find anything on the back of it. Don't expect them to try and follow through. Yeah, the spike slowly making its way back across a short as, as the FBX players now lean towards B site. Defo and Chronicle again will be called upon. Now, I wonder if this speeds up the pace. They just heard the audio prompt that you know that Red Girl's going to be over towards that A side. It looks like they're trying to rod a little bit quicker here for the FBX side. But again, it, trying to make progress on this, Defo's in a dirty little angle. Red Guard's trying to take contact on CT. You can see Boombot clearing on through. No one close by, and they've hit the brakes for a second. They've lost that springboard effect they could have had. Angel already isolated and punished 30 seconds. 30 seconds they don't left. really have any sort of step towards the site. Defo hasn't been checked on here. He actually decides to swing a little ahead of it. I thought he might wait to see if he could get away with something from that, but no. Gets involved and loses life. 20 seconds now. This is right down to the wire, and that spike is still at long. Flash is actually perfectly timed there, but FBX still muscle their way onto site here. Five seconds. Spike will be planted. Nats now coming up. No way. No way, Nats denies it! From the no way. From so deep in spawn with the snakes. proving that in, in every aspect of his approach. Not even close, Unbelievable right? scenes. Yeah. No, I was fine. Had it the whole time. Don't worry, boys. I've got this.
and a pacey piece towards A. And it looks like they're gonna try and create that space, force them away. Maybe a barrel noted by artists there. And well, wow. he's in danger, yeah. isn't he? Instantly dealt with. Orbital strike as well. I expected a little bit of a stack behind that push from Ardis, I guess. Zipan will try and follow through with the showstopper, but. Oh, does he post it right there? No damage onto Shados. Maybe Shados is just that little bit deeper. Yeah, you could see him just on the back wall of things, keeping back to it. It's far away from the possibility. And again, good work on this. I don't know if they can make much of it. So guess who's going to find death? Or, but it's Chronicle on the trade out, or he's spiked though down. So gets so once more. He can't get it. Chronicle. This guy is so sharp today, and the retake again is what falls apart for FPX. Oh. And just the utility work, everything was so perfectly placed by Gambit and nothing finding much for FPX. No, not even the kitchen sink, because... But then Zipan comes through, Gambit have to respect the showstopper, nothing found off that, and the, and the, the Rolling Thunder are, are, are dud, to be honest. Yeah. And that's got to be devastating, right? We already talked about the lack of post-plant utility, let alone with the ults coming in. You kind of think that might be a way to unlock a little bit more, but Redgar's done with this amount of pressure coming in. He wants to greet it with a smile and already Ardis, the next one up for the challenge. Does at least get Shados, but he needs a bit more. He needs some help in this one, and there it is. Shao and Sugetsu come through. They've got side control, and they're actually trying to clear back in towards Showers, but there's still presence here to be noted. Defo 1 just swings on out, finds nothing for it. Shao preoccupied, though, now by the Molotov. This isn't going to be too much of a bother, but it'll oh, wait. Oh, no Chronicle, way, Chronicle! Chronicle! Chronicle's a god Are right now, playing me? above his station. That was perfect. He isolates one with the molly, forces them in the corner. They can't swing anymore. Takes a fight towards the site and even gets the double on it. And thinks, well, it's about time I check back on that molly. Lose the round because of Chronicle. Hey, just Chronicle Nats things. round. Yeah, we just had that Nats round before. The Chronicle round, you had that plant with all those ults invested. FPX are throwing everything they've got at this, and they are being absolutely backhanded by the depth of Gambit. These guys are unbelievable. This is why they're a world-class team, right? This is when you, you put the respect on their name that they deserve. They have the depth in every aspect of their gameplay, be it individual or as the collective. They are the full package, and it's terrifying to watch. Now, what do you do going forward? The, the most concerning thing is actually now that they've lost out a couple of times even after fighting to the death for showers right yep how i mean how much do they do they keep going for this right they, they haven't found success at b or at least comfortable success at b other than that one round that like we said it was an axe round it was a snake bite to decide things like they will actually revisit b site Well, no, Defo has to make a desperation play for the... Actually, didn't catch that flash. He didn't. No. Sky flash didn't pop at all. It didn't reveal position. Able to turn it regardless, but they had no idea who was there. If they control the push coming out through from Hookah, there'd be no damage done, but they have managed to slip the net. Shados has to respect it to an extent, but he's going to just put himself into a corner. Nats has his back, but Angel breaks through. A 2v2, but it's Redgar and Nats still. 13 seconds. Oh, now coming in high flash as they try and just crest the corner. Nats please Angel out of it. And that's Nats again. You don't hold a post plan against him. Just breaks back on it. And that's going to be eight on the board. Nothing more to be said about it. Wow. Uh, and something. There's still something in the tank, no matter what. A pace change here or there. An individual player finding that next layer to their piece. It's, it's very hard to handle. And again, we look to see if FBX can make it work. It looks like a simple piece towards A, and this time it's Nats again. He's still tucked in the corner, keeping what? his life, and he's still pushing Zip, and he almost found Angel, but he sets up Shados to do it. And it just looks too it's, easy for them. It's actually every member of Gambit just goes down swinging. Like, if you take him down, it, they'll make you bleed first. <laughs> again, it, it's almost like in that scenario, you have no right doing that much damage before you fall with your nats. The aftershock to deal with. Flash on the way in as well. It's it's actually crazy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> now where one is, it didn't take eyes off shower either. And not many of these upgraded weapons, be it pistols or not, found much opportunity to do any damage. And Shao's going to play this out as best he can. You see it. You peek once, no one there. You peek again. You got three players staring you down. So Gambit. Uh, whether or not this is just a kind of 
lean heavier on on Viper's pit, kind of giving them control of showers for free. Last time, FPX didn't really entertain this. Uh, they poked a little at the start of the round as they're doing again now and very quickly drifted away. So I'm fine with this here. Again, if anybody does decide to kind of walk up short, it's going to be punished pretty quickly. But Shay doesn't seem to be hold. Uh, he is now. I was going to say, he seem to be holding an angle, but a little bit of mistime there on the Trailblazer. Whether or not FPX even noted that. Hmm. Again, it's going to be Chronicle and Defo who have been good for two or three pretty much every time on the way into B-Site. Red guys on the way. They've called the rotation in, be it a step, be it something heard. This is a pretty telltale sign. And Defo's response, pop the ult. If he finds anything, he's trying to buy time to maybe get out what? of that stun. But R Redgar? How has Redgar found three? There was a, a smoke there, wasn't there? What? It was. Yeah, there was. There was. Good to be honest, because this this here is ultimately where now the mm -hmm. composition kind of sucks for FBX. <laughs> I yes, gotta it say does. it. <laughs> you kind of wanted the ten two yeah. in your favor, didn't yeah. you? When you were coming on this, you're like, oh, double duelist. Oh shit. Oh, Shao should have been dead there. Yeah, I don't know how that's how he's alive. Fair enough. Okay. Player advantage coming in. And away we go. TP had. Quick flash. It's clear enough. Angel with a reply on utility. Going to slow down the hit. Allow time for rotations. Back and forth to just try and buy time. But that close corner does have a problem with being Angel. Oh, it's again, though. Going to find Redgar. Even just three standing. Bit of a gap on this wall. Angel trying to increase that a little bit. Almost punished for it, though. And Artist will be spotted on the cross. Look at that Sheriff. So... Potential to do some damage, but Nats, meanwhile, a misdirection going to allow him to find a, a little bit of space on short. At this point, it's a 2v5 for Shados and Nats. Okay. Should be all right. Should be all right. 30 seconds left. Should be all right. I'm just, I'm just here. There's some leaked... Opium, I think, coming across. There we go. It's not clean. It's not pretty, but you, you take it. Shados does have a 1v3 on the site. 13 seconds. Don't. Oh. Don't worry. It's fine. Yeah. Ardis gets the close. It's all right. Okay. This comes to a late round. FBX don't have an awful lot to work with, right? And then, actually, the only thing really to slow anything down is, is Angel's utility. The, the fault line in the aftershock. Yeah. Shout out to you, but he does become a key component here. I just want to see, uh, does Angel have the easy read? thinking about it? I, it Nats is there to try and punish any sort of rotation, right? Like, contact on the other side, he's going to try and do a little bit of a creep, that little lurk towards A. I think Angel's still on the case to try and check on this, so keep their eyes on the kill feed. There it is. So Angel... Taylor made to deal with Nats in that scenario. And so far, so good. Nice work from FPX. Ardis farming on up. Good control. Try and convert this bonus as well. Everybody sat comfortably above 2,000. A little bit of a cushion here. Yeah, but don't necessarily need this to be clean. They're, they're so close to, to map point. Get one on the board and they'll feel pretty good about it. But definitely in terms of the ultimate cycle. I mean, this is uh, a little overstep from Ah, oh, this Chronicle, man. Dude, come on. <laughs> I mean, he's so damn good. Yeah, it's it's actually like how are you meant to get around that? If he's having a game like he is today, what are you meant yeah. to do against it? And I think he's reading it right. Angel's just on that corner. He's got Shados by his side as well. He's fine. Now, keep in mind, this isn't uh, uh, Hello, Shao. Shao. That's a Spectre, the Spectre by the way. is a long-range weapon. It uh, is a long-range weapon. I'll tell you that now. My, it's incredible. Mine don't shoot uh, that straight. I'll tell you that much. No. No, he's found just the alternative fire mode. You know what I mean? It's it's real interesting. And maybe a flash in. Oh, it actually caught. Okay, pretty far on it. There's Nats on the punish. So prepared. Yeah. It's running a, a Guardian and a Spectre for most of the day so far. So this <laughs> is a like, yeah, full purchase, Red Guy round, really. 
true. Is that good for the guy? Actually, as well. Yeah, he actually has a very fair assessment. Chronicle, kind of standing a little vulnerable over towards it, and Angel's going to get the punish towards it. Take back shower control. Jano's supposed to be careful here. Spike nestled away, but you can see already a lot of attention being drawn towards that B site. Flashes from Red Guard going in. High flash shower going to peek out at the perfect time, but does lose track for a second. But Sugetsu's there. Does going to find Defu. Defu? Defo. All of them. Bloody hell, can't talk today. Yeah. And Red Guard, let's see how that Spectre looks, eh? Not great no, this no, time. Good though, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Shadoff's left in the 1v4. They have a rough idea of where these players reside, but it be hard to get a, oh, oh, a clean 1v1. Right. It's going to be hard to get a clean 1v1. Yeah. I've lost. I've absolutely told a fib. He found a 1v1 <laughs> midair. Needs to find a couple more, though. Always the trickiest part. Oh, no, way no, shade off. Shade off, are you serious right now? He's got the res. So again, he's trying to close again. He's got his flash back up in a second. He's going to put down the seeker. He's going to try and keep Nats back at bay. Oh my god, 20 seconds, and Nats is going for a run. Well, he gets the plant, he gets Viper's bit here. So, so guess you has to beat him to this plant. Has to. Ten seconds left. He's there as He's fast as he heaven. can be, I think. What? Oh. Why? Welcome to oh no. There's the ult. Oh no. Paints the site green, and Sugetsu now. Flash up in about five, has to somehow find Nats. In a world that's certainly not his own, this is not looking nice. The prediction on the position pops out the flash. No way. Is it well? Sugetsu keeps it in line, but oh. it should never have been that close no. by, by any means. Nope. And it needed to be clean from FPX. The fact that Shados. 11 of 5. Away we go. Defo trying to move on in. They've, they've taken over some control. FPX have to respect this to, to an extent. Might be a spike plant off the back of it. I don't think they can really deny it right now. Might be pulled away, but the plant still comes in. Going to note the new position after being kind of pulled away from the desired spot, but they've got a chance. That judge is horrific to try and deal this is with, but. Problematic for. Yeah. They need the utility to do a bit of clearing work. And definitely going to pick up the base and pick up the bodies. Shower and Angel go down, but FPX are keeping it in check. It's still a player advantage. They're still okay in this. But they might get a little shaky here. Shados and Nats still alive. Oh, Tap on the spike. Ardis is there. Takes down Shados, and now it's just Nats. The time, no problem. There it is. Diffuse going to come through. Three standing. Six on the board. Yeah, there's a there's a world there. Little bit of breathing space now in terms of the FPX finances. A judge in play for Xiao. Perfectly viable. No problems with that. Especially in a spot like this. Yeah, look at the state of Defo off the back of that. A little bit of a contact. Red Guard gonna get him fixed up, patched up, and back into action. But again, it's a warning sign. It's gonna now. Cause a little bit more utility probably to be invested into this corner just to try and clear that judge. We've seen it trail. made to look so, so easy by someone like Link, but Defo this time well aware that Showers maybe wanted to peek ahead of those Seekers, but not going to have much of an opportunity to do so as now the side take's going to come in. It's a lot of pressure on Angel's shoulders, but he does have Sugetsu by his side, so maybe time going to be able to be bought here. You can see the damage already being done, but Sugetsu's cleared. Angel's down. The site's ready for the taking. Yeah, again, and almost... Like, they're what's achieved on the back of the Rolling Thunder, but we'll come back to that. Zipan and Ardis now. Dynamic Quite Giro. Connected. Have to get something done. Ambit, actually going to stack a couple of bodies up on site here. 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 Essentially, Shados and Redguard to take first contact. And they're going to get a move on here if they want to entertain. No, Ardis is drifting away. This is a... This is a submission here from... FPX to hold on to these weapons. It says a little bit of breathing space. I don't know what exactly was behind this purchase. You can see Ardis on 3100. Zipan really in a position to purchase into the next. No showstopper available either. Gambit will find their 12th. 
now have the orbital strike online, which this is where it's all out. Maybe a little bit of aggression potentially. It looks like that could be the case. Definitely going to be forced away from the angle. You're going to have Sugetsu going to try and take a little bit of the room back on this map. But there's the early investment of the ult, but the punish comes out. The swing from Chronicles there, and now Art is pinned into the corner. Right, Chronicle. Chronicle comes right. back. He's going to deal with the whole site apparently. Angel all alone now. He had two teammates at the start, and now he's got nobody. He tries to back away peacefully. Shower on the support though. Takes the time through the TP. Gets himself there. And they deal with at least one of these players slowing down the roll just a touch because Gambit didn't springboard off that though. Yeah. They've just hit the brakes a second. Fact Shao finds that kill and doesn't see anything behind it. There's no there's no swing. This will actually draw the rotation. So good read from FPX. Then both Zipan and Angel across to A's site. Again, clear out most of these close points on back side, but yeah, with this utility it should be noted now. Oh, Angel. You are. You can hear all these steps. He is in. Oh, right. Maybe the spot that he could do some damage from. But again, we talked about it. Can they deny the plant? They're trying desperately to do so. Zipan and Xiao, the last two, try and yep. put up a fight. And yes, away we go. But Xiao's here quick. He's not going to look for the peak. He's going to look for the cross. Someone's going to come in. Oh, he just tried to peek ahead of it. Chronicle ready to punish that in case anyone dared to do it. Molotov goes in and Zipan now staring down the barrel of a gun. I it's a 1v3, and he hasn't had a good game this time around. This is a lot to ask of the man. And Gambit just need to play that time. All looking so favorable. So much in his path. You can see it. The vision, the eyes trained on it, and Gambit with a resound.